Hi guys, so um, today I want to review the auto ship for the Crafters Companion layering uh, stamps and die set. Um, this was the December auto ship, so I just didn't have a chance to review it. And I've been wanting to try out the teapot for you guys to make a, sh a card the shape of the teapot. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, we've done things like this before. So these are really pretty, but I'm going to put this one to the side. It does cut out a little aperture, which is kind of nice. So if you were to stamp this on a card, you would have that little aperture there. So, um, and it's a nice set. But anyway, they come in sets of two for the auto ship just like that. And um, I'm just trying to check my camera, make sure it's not doing that wonky thing where it was kind of <laughs> closing up. I told my husband, I'm like, I didn't realize it was closing up, closing up, closing up until it was like blurry. And I'm sure it feels like it's messing with your eyes. But um, so I'm sorry about that, but it looks pretty steady right now. Okay, so um, it does come with obviously the layering um, stamps. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut a card base though. So I'm gonna put those to the side for right now. And just open this up and just debating if I want to make this like white card base probably huh so there's a little shape and all I'm gonna do is use my get this off of here I sometimes these end up sticking because of the, the stuff that's on there um, is use my junior Gemini junior right here in front Turn that on. Oh, it was actually the review for this that my camera just decided to do some fun stuff. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna make the teapot like a light pink color. If I have a light pink, that'd be really pretty. I'll have to go and look. Like if I have like a really blush kind of light pink. And I guess I should get some white paper to do this with. Oh, you know what? I don't know if this is light pink, but it's cute. Sorry guys, I just kind of walk over here oh, to uh, where I have all my paper. Um, so I have this light pink, it's not as light as I was thinking. I was thinking like just like a whisper of pink, you know, but I do have this here. I have this lighter pink. It's a little brighter than I would like. Hmm, we will see. Normally we stamp on white or a very light color because it doesn't contaminate the color that you're stamping, right? The, the color might look a little different once you've stamped it on paper that's not just white. So I'm just gonna eyeball this as far as how much I need here. And you might hear Miranda giving a little cough in the background. We are gonna go to the doctor later. Cause although like I told you guys, she wasn't feeling well and her fever has not come back, but the cough, which is always typical, right? I know the doctor's gonna be like, well, it just takes a while for that to subside, right? Okay, so I just folded it in half, just some white paper. And I'm going to cut this out and just leave a little bit off the top I guess it depends because I'm still going to layer a, a teapot on top of this so we're not just going to stamp on this. So I'm just leaving a little bit so that it still hinges. Let's do a little bit lower. Uh, like there. That way there's still a good amount of <laughs> uh, card touching so it doesn't just rip apart right after a while <laughs> of lifting it up. And oh, you know I changed my mind. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Only because I don't want it to tear like I was saying, but at the same time, I, 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 my ori original plan was to have it hinge open. But you see, when you cut it this way, the handle is going to be on the right. If the handle was on the left, that'd be much cuter. But you'd have to do some different things with that and then maybe, you know, do whatever you like. But I was just like, you know what, we'll just do it this way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And just magnetic mat, plastic shim, cutting plate. Run that through. Hopefully it's tight enough to go through both layers. If not, I would put the metal shim too. But I think we're okay. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about that. I had said, oh, maybe we can have it hinge outwards, but that's not gonna work for this design so much. This part I don't really care too much. We are gonna put our little die on top. But there, now you have your little card that opens up like this. All right, very cute. I'll put this to the side for a little bit because we're going to use it again not too long from now. I'm just trying to figure out if I really want to use this pink paper. And so we always stamp on white for a reason, but let's see. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's... When you open it up, it always has numbers and you want to line up your numbers. See how there's like a little square kind of area and it says two, 
or like this is number one. So whenever you go to stamp two, line up number two where you lined up number one, okay? And then you stamp that way. But why not? Let's let's do it on this pink paper and see what happens. So I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit just to make it smaller. And since I eyeballed that, I'm gonna turn my paper so that the part that I know is nice and square is gonna be like here. And I guess since I have this uh, little mat, I'm going to continue using the same system. So I'll use the diamond press press here. And that way I can kind of see better what I'm doing. So let's get number one. And these are photopolymers, so um, they're well worth it. Nice, sticky, smelling awesome stamp. And I'm going to line this up. You should always do it somewhere where it's easy to remember, but I'm going to line it up within that first... This first block. Hopefully I remember that. So one inch in, one inch up, right? I think that's pretty straight. Well, maybe not straight, but it's there. <laughs> All right, good enough. So let's do black. I'm just going to use this alcohol-proof dye ink because it's right in front of me and Nora Black. You know what? I'm not going to do that. It's taking a minute. Let me... Let me find my quick dry inks that I'm going to use and then we'll do that. Because this one, you know, it's it's a lot firmer. The pad. And so I want one that's a little squishier so it can just kind of squish on there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so mine is going to be a little different because since I'm using black and we do have a jet black in the Harmony quick dry ink. Um, they're gray tones and I thought, well, maybe I should do gray and then do the accent in black. But I'm just going to go with black and I'm not going to put another accent color on the teapot. I'll show you like this. So that's number five, actually, this kind of orangey one that they have there. So this is number one, where they have it kind of pink, and then this is five. So I'm just not going to use five because there's no point. Obviously, I'm using black to begin with, so um, yeah, you see that? It just kind of grips on nice and sticky there. Hopefully I got everything. I don't really know what I'm going for here. And let me see. Hmm. I have to... Oh, Mandaloo. It is a little bit crooked because the way I'm stamping, so I might have to do a little more aligning when I go to do this. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Okay, not too bad. Sorry, Miranda came and patted me on the side really sweet because she knows to be kind of quiet, so she patted me and then I turned off the video and she says, I need some juice. <laughs> So really sweet. Now let me see about this, because the next layer should be kind of light. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that this was dark enough to show up. So I'm going to use pink tulip. And then on top of that, I think I'm going to go with plum jam. Let's go for it, because the other one in the middle of that would be fuchsia. But I kind of want to go with a light and a much darker, because there's only two layers of the flowers. So um, I already took off the teapot and I washed it, because <laughs> it really soaked up a lot of the black ink there. Um, so let's just put that there. So number two is going to be a lighter or darker, however you want to do it, but I was just kind of following the picture that they have there. It looks like number two is lighter and then the darker one. So again, I'm lining it up in that corner. Not that I was even paying attention to really where um, where I was lined up as far as when I came over here. I, I wasn't. So I kind of probably should have had that in my mind a little bit, but I did not. So that's okay. But when we go to stamp this, basically this little end piece right here, Sorry, this little guy should fall right in there. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where it should be. So let me kind of see about that. It's because my paper wasn't really lined up. <laughs> like in there. Let me see. Do, do, do something like that. Oh, and there goes my paper. So yeah, again, I don't know about this lining up stuff. Uh, okay, pink tulip. This stamp is very... Um, there's not much on it, you know what I'm saying, as far as what it's going to do. Interesting. Okay. I need to move this light so I can stick my head under here. And I might block you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm just basically trying to see what I'm doing here. And again, because of this uh, foot here, I can kind of wiggle this where I need it to be, so that's really nice. So I'm kind of keeping an eye out. I think that'll be a good spot for it. Oh no. Big problem. I just realized right now. <gasps> I might just go with it, but... 
Okay, no. I was gonna say, if this is gonna stain, because this is just here, but it's recessed. Oh my gosh. When I saw that, I thought, oh no, I'm gonna stamp that in here. So as you can see, it's very light. It's there, it's super cute. Didn't, uh, it's a pretty good spot. I think I did a pretty good job lining that one up. So just remove it from your plate and give it a wash under some water. This one is very delicate, guys, so be careful with it. It has some little, like, thin spots. Okay, so layer three. Actually, layer three is green. I forgot about that. So layer three is going to be green, um, which is kind of interesting, but I think you think you finish up the flowers and then go with three, but no. So layer three is green. Let's put it in the same spot, even though that doesn't really help me much. <laughs> and let me grab a green color that I totally forgot to get. Um, I don't think I've used anything green yet. Uh, let's see here. We'll use pine tree. Apparently I've used pine tree before because it's open already. So we have our green. And again, maybe I should have given it a trial run just to kind of see where this green is supposed to land, but oh well, let's go for it. Okay, and it's a little bit off like this. And I can kind of see that these leaves at the end need to match up those leaves right there. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Because I remember it was a little bit crooked when I started. Oh, very good. I can kind of see where I'm heading. Okay, I'm going to commit. Oh, that's so pretty. You guys see? I don't want to get too close because I know for some people they want a little space. A little space. It feels a little claustrophobic here. But that looks pretty good. Okay. And last layer. Now this is my last layer, but again, there's a layer five for that top of the teapot. Let me just wipe this down real quick. And... This is layer four. Really cute. It's very um, cute and petite, this one. And layer five, or four, <laughs> sorry. Layer four, last flower. And again, I'm gonna go with Plum Jam. And this is just giving some accents to the flowers there. So I kind of want to see this again. Where am I going? Okay. All right, I'm kind of trying to line it up. My head in the way when I get in here, I can't tell. Um, okay. Yeesh. This is the moment of truth right here. <laughs> okay. Maybe there? Like, maybe there? I think I missed it, <laughs> to be honest. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, I don't know. We will see. Oh, it's not too bad. Pretty cute. What's kind of weird is that I guess these green leaves maybe should have been down a little bit more because I'm missing like a whole space right here. But it doesn't look bad overall, so that's kind of odd. Hmm. Maybe I just had a... Okay. Well, that's that. And definitely if I wasn't on camera, I would put my head in there better and really <laughs> see where I'm lining things up. Um, but that's that one. And then we have, again, you would go and do layer five. Oopsie. Which would be this last one. And then just line it up right there. Doot. And it gives a little little something to top, which is kind of cute. I have a lot of teapots because I was a collector for a time and um, a lot of them have that little green, like green, what am I talking about? Gold leafing. Okay, there's that, there's this. And we need our dye. Hopefully my inky fingers don't get all over this white card. All right, and now we eyeball. Again, you can make yourself a little cheater window like I've showed you guys how to do in the past, but for right now, I'm just gonna kind of Eyeball it, and that looks pretty good. Where is my tape? I'm trying to get some tack off of this because I know it's tacky tape, but it still has too much sometimes. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, and again, just plastic mat, magnetic shim, and then my other cutting plate. I'll run that through. And then it has a lot of cute little um, things on there, sentiments. You're so refreshing. From me to you, many happy returns. Fancy, uh, fancy a drink to a special lady, wishing you a happy day. And they're all kind of script and cute, so those are nice. Oh, girls, I did a pretty good job. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ah, this is horrible. <laughs> so not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Now, I could have inked it up a little bit nicer as far as the black, because I can see here. You know, with those pads, you're kind of like putting around and around, and a lot of times it'll give you an impression. So this is kind of like a perfect kind of circular curved area, just like the pad is, right? Like here, right on there. So, you know, just be mindful of that, but it's not the biggest deal. And now all we're going to do is stick this on here, and you have this cute little, little, little card. Okay, so let's stick that down. Um, I'll use some of this. Oh, you guys, I tried to repair this tape runner, and it is a mess. Like, it was a nightmare, and I thought I got it going, but now it's doing the same thing again. It's sucking it up. And that's not typical of these tape runners, and to open it, just so you know, is almost impossible. I pretty much broke it, so it's only holding on in a couple areas. And so it works, but, um, but it's doing the same thing where it's sucking up, it's winding the, the uh, ribbon wrong. Uh, but that happens. You know, I've even had the Scotch ones um, from that big, huge tape. What was it called? I have two of those guns, too. I need to sell one. Um, you need a tissue? Okay, I'll be right there. So, all we're going to do is layer this up. That scotch, that big tape runner. Where is this? Right in front of me. Advanced tape glider. I have two of them. And I only use one. I don't know why I have the other one, to be honest. I think I had ordered it online because when they first came out, they were impossible to find. And then, and then I found one at Michael's while I was waiting for the other one to come in. So, I bought it with a coupon or something. So, I have two. Oh, that's so cute. Can you imagine putting that on some kind of gift, like maybe a little tea, or like, I don't know, maybe a, a cup or mug with some tea or something and then have this on there. That is so cute. So that's one way to try it out. You can also just use it like this as a die cut, right? Um, put on a card, however you like to use it. But it's cute. It's a cute little uh, shape, a little size, should I say. Um, obviously, the shape is adorable. And um, it was a little bit different using the black, but I think I like that. Uh, otherwise, I would have gone with like a darker pink, maybe, just so it looks like a... Um, more like the teapot itself, but however you want to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the tutorial, and I hope my camera was not flipping out on us. I think it's okay. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.